Hello everyone and welcome to our incoming ninth grade registration informational video. My name is Pete Biskins and I am the assistant principal here at Apple Valley High School and this is always an exciting time for all of us as we begin the process of welcoming a new group of Eagles to our school. We are Apple Valley High School, a seven period day. We are on the trimester system which should be familiar to you coming out of middle school. Well over 90% of our students will attend a two-year or four-year college, but we do pride ourselves on preparing our students for whatever post-secondary options they want to pursue. Apple Valley High School has two main philosophies that revolve around in our school. The AAA school and a STEM school dedicated to those three A's. So let's talk a little bit about those. Apple Valley High School is the home of the AAA philosophy in the state of Minnesota. It started here in 1976, where equal emphasis is placed on academics, arts, and athletics, because we know that learning can happen in all different areas on, among our schools. Apple Valley High School has won the most state championships in Minnesota history when you combine the arts and athletics, and that is something we are so proud of because all of our students, when they decide to participate, have such an enriching experience. Over the course of the last few years, Apple Valley has also evolved into the STEM high school in District 196. We are the end of the STEM pathway. Many of you attended Cedar Park and Echo Park, continued on into Valley Middle School, and are now here at Apple Valley. That is because we are the end of the STEM corridor. Regardless of whether or not you are officially in our STEM program though, all of our students receive STEM training through the thinking pathways because they are incorporated and enveloped in all of our programming. How do we develop, how do we implement, how do we evaluate, explore, share, and wonder? All of those things permeate our curriculum because we know that's what our businesses want from our students. So we want to make sure that our students are best prepared. The graduation requirements at Apple Valley High School are the same regardless of which high school you go to. Four years, 12 credits in language arts and social studies, three years required in science and math, and then you will also have wellness, physical education, an opportunity to take safety education where you can earn your driving permit, and then other areas of elective interest. We have looked around at many of our post-secondary institutions, be that colleges or universities, military academies, community or tech colleges, and this is what they tell us they are looking for. And so as you begin to prepare for your first year of high school, please keep these things in mind. So let's talk about the registration process. As a ninth grader, you will have seven periods to fill during your school day. The courses in red are required for all of our students. Then you will have some elective choices where you can take one or two different electives each trimester, or you may select to have a study hall during your school day. Completely up to you. But let's talk a little bit about each of our core areas. First off, you will need to decide whether or not you want to take on-level English or Honors English 9. Usually the top 30% of incoming ninth graders will select Honors English. A good guide for you, if you're earning an A, A minus, B plus in your middle school English classes, then you are encouraged to enroll in our honors programming. Citizenship and government also has the on level and honors, and you can see the differences between these two courses. Once again, we use that top 30% as our guide. If you're doing well in your current social studies classes, earning an A, A minus, B plus, and you enjoy learning about citizenship and government, then our honors programming would be one you should consider. We also like to encourage, although it is not required, 
that our students take honors English and honors citizenship and government together. There is a lot of crossover with some of the writing and reading, and it's helpful when students are in both of those. Again, you do not have to do that, but it is encouraged. Regarding science as a ninth grader, again, either on level or honors earth science is the way to go. The 30% guide, the top 30% of incoming ninth graders usually take this course. Generally an A or an A minus in your current middle school science classes. And if you have a strength in independent analysis, in math, and you like a little bit more of challenging work in science, Honors Earth Science may be the route for you to take. In math, it is usually the top 15% of our ninth graders that might take Honors Geometry. What that means is well over 80% of you will be in Intermediate Algebra. Students that are doing well in that class may look to increase or accelerate their math if you're doing well in Algebra 1. However, most of you will just continue on into intermediate algebra. The best advice we can tell you is to talk to your current math teacher and they will put you on the right path in your math. Now in Fit for Life, Wellness and Safety Ed, each trimester you will be in one of those courses. It all depends on your birthday, and that's because of the safety ed option. Safety ed is a course where students earn their driving permit, but in order to take the test to do that, you have to be 15. And so you can see under which option where your birthday falls. Now, some of you, if you're like me, your birthday isn't until late June, and so you may not, you can, but you don't have to take safety ed until 10th grade. I would have waited and I would have taken another elective, maybe another Phi Ed course or something else that was of interest to me because I was one of those late birthdays. However, if your birthday is during the school year, you have the option to take Safety Ed, but all of you will take the Fit for Life, that's our ninth grade Phi Ed class, and Wellness One. Now we have a lot of electives at Apple Valley. We have things in the visual arts world, and it begins with our introduction to 2D and 3D art. Business, family, and consumer science are performing arts, which include dance, choir, band. Great year-long options for you. You may want to look at our tech education program. You may want to look at our world language program. We have Spanish, Japanese, German, and French. Now, some of you may look into our AVID program. AVID stands for Advancement via Individual Determination. AVID is a program that is designed for first-generation college students. It is designed for students who may want a little extra support as they go through their high school career and, and they are getting ready for college. That does require an application, so if you're interested in that, make sure you talk to your counselor. We also have our Work Experience program. That also requires prior approval before you can get admission into that class. Again, talk to your counselor if you are interested. Finally, if you are a social media person, we have a lot of Twitter accounts that follow along with our AAA philosophy and our STEM philosophy. So much information now comes out via those Twitter sites. But more importantly, you can find everything you need for registration and other information about our school on our school website at avhs.district196.org. We are here to help. We are here to make this process seamless and easy for you. We do appreciate your time and attention during this video. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. We can't wait to see you. Have a great rest of your day, and go Eagles!